Well, I cracked into the uh, injector pump. I got a pick and pull. This thing had some serious freaking blow by. When I took the uh, LDA cover off, that diaphragm was just covered in oil. And uh, yeah, so I had to freaking take her out and clean her up and stuff. Uh, I got the rest of it there and some parts there and some more parts there. Um, so yeah, I gave this guy a bath and freaking took her outside and blew her all off. So it's about as clean as it can get for now. Um, I think I might totally rebuild this thing or maybe use it for parts. Depends on what I find inside, but when I crank it over it, it fires pretty good, so um, yeah, it's more than likely a good pump. The guy probably scrapped the car because the motor was just chooching oil like a mask. Because, like, there was a serious puddle in there, but uh. Yeah, this thing's a lot different than mine. First thing I noticed was um, when I took that uh, the cold start advance cable off, um, I had to actually unclip it because it didn't. I'll show you guys instead. I just freaking trying to explain it. This thing here, mine has a notch cut in the top so you can just pull the cable up. This one you had to disconnect the cable and freaking unclip it and then pull it out. Uh, another thing I noticed is this doesn't have a notch in it either. Mine, you can just clip it on and clip it off. So what I did was I freaking just, uh, that little hairpin there. Uh, when this is over top of it, you can see that little groove right there. It, uh, the pin snaps into the groove and then that's what holds it on, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, never mind. Now I'm sure. I guess you put a wrench on here and a friggin' thing on there and you just wind that top nut off, but mine's way different. Um, yeah, this this thing's bent. This is just the same as mine. Mine's friggin' bent. Um, here's another, another piece of evidence that this thing was never taken apart. You can see that pin, or that uh, little clip on that uh, bolt better. Yeah, this there's a nut in behind there, and they put those uh, little caps on them to make it tamper-proof. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the LDA off and see what I can see. I keep leaking all over my fresh freaking thing, but yeah, it's there's a funky smell in here. <laughs> it's not really ventilated well at all except there I don't know who the hell installed that door or built that door frame but they must have been high cuz like that goes right to outside <laughs> yeah they're smoking some good stuff but anyways yeah it's a funky smell so I'll crack the LDA off and see what's up okay so I got her uh, pretty much completely ripped apart um, this thing's actually a lot easier to rebuild than I thought it was. Like, I was actually very much dreading taking this apart because, uh, I took one apart at pick and pull and it just freaking exploded. Pieces went everywhere. But this one was a control explosion. <laughs> but, um, it's actually really simple. Like, uh, those four grooves in there is where those things sit. Um... They've got a little conical washer on it. It's uh, cone-shaped, flat on one side, cone on the other. They go cones out, and yeah, there's four of them that sit there. This friggin' uh, cross piece or whatever, this goes on those two things there. You can see the, the wear marks, how it goes. It went in like that. And there's a spring that sits in there so this is sitting in there like that on that rotating shaft this is your cam plate um, I have no idea what size this is um, maybe one of you Volkswagen guys can uh, kinda clue me in it's got a 9.2 on it or no no 9.7 it's a 9.7 on that side and on this side, it's 440. 
I don't know if those numbers mean anything, but uh, they probably do. Um, yeah, and then you got that little washer dude, and then this assembly with the washer on it. You see a little notch there that fits into that little, uh, or the little pin fits onto the notch, like that, and then uh, the whole thing rotates and friggin' different things. And then I guess when it rotates, it picks one of those uh, one of those injector friggin' nozzle things. And then uh, when it compresses, it fires well pressurized fuel through whichever one it's sitting at. So I, I think that's how it works. I'm actually no idea. I'm just guessing. But um, yeah, so this thing. Everybody's saying go with like an 11 or 12 mil cam plate. Um, I have no idea what I would find one of those in. I might have actually uh, left one at pick and pull because I was taking apart a Volkswagen Passat and well the Volt the injector pump because I wanted to see what was inside it. So I freaking took it apart and that's the one that exploded on me. But uh, yeah, I honestly can't remember how aggressive the cam was. Um, I don't know if it was any different. It did not have the uh, LDA top. Well, not the. It had something similar to this, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't turbo fed. It didn't have a diaphragm in it. It was really interesting looking. It was a totally different looking pump, uh, which brings me to my next question. I pulled. This friggin' guy, come on, come on. This guy, uh, its shaft and that little nozzle thing off it, it's the same, same as mine. Actually, I don't know if it's the same, but um, it's got a little 50 on it. Can't see it. What is mine out of? 36, so they are different. Okay, anyways, this is the nozzle out of the Passat. Uh, you can see four little friggin' what look like jets, and there's a tiny, tiny little hole at the tip of it. Well, near the tip. But, uh, frickin' focus. The numbers on this are A89. A89. And then the one out of this pump. It's okay. it's only got two of those little injector nozzles, well, what I think are injector nozzles, but it's got a really big uh, hole in it. Um, what is the difference between these? Does this does that one allow more fuel through or something? Like I really have no idea. This is my first time doing this, and this one the numbers are really hard to see, but I think it's. I think it's a 146. I'm pretty sure it's a 146. Just lightly stamped into it. I have no idea what any of these numbers mean, but um, if I can somehow 